thousand years have passed, but this Phoenician demon sating his belly with human sacrifices is still devouring youth and children today. The world is cultivating sin, justifying it officially as LGBT. That's lesbians, homosexuals, bisexuals, and transgender. These communities reject the moral principle of the traditional family, and evil is now called a virtue and darkness light. Sin and debauchery are becoming a cult. Sin is being justified by aesthetics. Sodomites pay attention to mysticism and different symbols. So, a Bible was published by homosexuals, especially for themselves, with a rainbow cross. A Bible in which the Holy Scripture is modified. In the real Bible, for example, it says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. In the gay Bible, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind in the temple of Moloch. It is an abomination. Which means that sodomites are saying that it's not allowed to conduct homosexual acts in the temple of Moloch, but outside of it, it's acceptable. Another example. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. In the Gay Bible, these words are replaced by morally weak. This, this is an abomination before God because there is no sacred uh, ground for the homosexuals. There is nothing that they will not do to promote their agenda. There is no uh, opposition that they will accept in, at any level. They, they must conquer every opponent. See, and the spirit, the spirit that has produced this book, this false Bible, this gay theology. Gay theology is the, the heresy of the modern world.